everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day number four of the Ramadan daily I hope you guys are enjoying these daily videos because I'm genuinely enjoying making them like I've never done this before but I'm having a lot of fun with it so today I'm doing kind of like a get ready with me I'm about to um, go to like a little Ramadan iftar type of thing with my community and I wanted to show you guys how I do like super natural almost like no makeup makeup I've been kind of wearing it in vlogs here and there and everyone has been asking me for this I am also gonna have like a vlog at the other half of this video just showing you what I do pretty much for the rest of my day so I want to get into it um, this makeup I've been doing probably for the last like month or so and I just really enjoy it because it's super fast like I can honestly do this in like under 10 minutes and if it wasn't for my brows I could probably do this a lot sooner but my brows pretty pr pretty pr whoa did you guys just see how I struggled with that sentence my brows pretty much take the longest time I don't know what it is but I just wish I could wake up with like naturally filled in brows. That would be amazing. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you join the fam, click the little red subscribe button down below and also join notification gang so you don't miss any videos. For my brows, I've been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow that looks like this. I use the shade number four. And basically what I do is I just go in very very light strokes on day that on days that i'm doing more like no makeup makeup i don't want to make them like too dark or too boxy i kind of just want to fill in wherever there's like missing gaps and stuff wherever it's like lighter so that is just kind of like in this area and more on the tail of the brow i just finished watching desi perkins's new video she made like a um she got her brows tinted but like it actually like tints the skin and I really, really want to do that because that would literally, like I would never have to fill in my brows. Like the way those looked, I would not fill in my brows. So I want to like ask, do you know if that's like permissible? Like would I still be able to pray? Technically it's like henna, right? So when I get towards the front of my brow, I go very, very light. And if I do accidentally go a little too boxy or dark, I just kind of like blend it out with my finger very lightly. That's pretty much as dark as I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna blend that out with the spoolie and then do the same for the other eyebrow. I always just kind of like take my finger and run it against the front of my brow just so that it looks a little more natural and there's no like harsh lines right over there. And then I always like no matter what, if it's a no makeup day or what, um, and I'm doing my brows, I always have to outline them just because I find it just looks more clean and even if you don't fill them in as much if you um, outline them it just kind of makes the brows look more bold so that is a look that I personally love to go for so I'm just gonna use my trusty crusty <laughs> LA girl pro concealer this is literally the definition of crusty like do you see the, the edge of that it's so nasty but if it ain't broke don't fix it All right guys, so that's it for the brows and I'm not gonna bother lining the top of them because I kind of just wanna make them look bushy and natural today. So this is my secret, guys. This is my brow trick that I've been doing recently that has seriously, I'm just so obsessed with how this looks. So I actually take a hairspray. This is the L'Oreal Paris L Net Satin Hairspray and it is the extra strong hold. So that is the key to this. You need an extra strong hold hairspray. And I just take any spoolie. This is just like a random Anastasia spoolie. And I just do a couple spritz on there and then I run this through my brows. And because this is extra strong hold, it keeps it in place. It does kind of make it look a little crusty or not look crusty. It makes it look a little crunchy. That's what I mean. Crusty is just a word that keeps coming up in my vocabulary for some reason, but anyways, I'm just gonna lightly brush these up and you will see how this transforms my brow. So moving on, uh, for foundation, I don't really wear foundation when I'm going for no makeup, but Nude Sticks recently came out with this product. This is the Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. It looks like this. Basically, it's not like meant to be a foundation. 
I'm using the shade um, 8 Deep. It's kind of, it's literally like a tint, like you can barely even see it on your hand and it blends in like so smoothly. All it does is just kind of like create a filter over the skin. So I actually, I should probably prime my face first. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I've already added sunscreen. I've been using the Salima Skin Solutions SPF. Um, this one has SPF 30. So my SPF video top kind of like five or top favorites is coming up very soon. So just keep a lookout. But so far I am really liking that Salima one. And now we can go in with the tinted blur stick. So I'll kind of show you just like twirls up and this has changed my life. The only thing is, is that I think I may be allergic to it. <laughs> I'm literally showing it in this video because I just want to show you guys how amazing it is. But I feel like this might be silicone based and I, my skin does not like silicone. So like I kind of broke out all around here. If you're someone who isn't like sensitive to silicones, like if you use like the Smashbox primer or a lot of primers that have more of that smooth silicone feel, then I don't think you'll break out to this. I will let you guys know though, like you'll see throughout my daily videos um, if this does break me out because I stopped using it and then now I'm using it again. So um, just to like make sure it was actually this product. And you can literally bl blend this out with your fingers and you can see how flawless that looks. Like it literally just evened out my skin around my mouth and it literally doesn't even look like I'm wearing anything. I'm just so obsessed with this product. Nude Sticks did send this to me, but this isn't sponsored obviously. So you can use your fingers with this. Um, I normally just use my fingers because you girl is always late for something and I don't have time to even look at a brush. I really only focus this around my mouth because that's where I have the most discoloration. But I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead just right over here. And you can see like it's a perfect match and it blends out so nicely. I feel like even if you're a little bit lighter than me or darker than me, you could still make this color work because um, they're more just like blurs, like they don't really have a full intense pigment. So I really like that. And it blends out so easy. Because I have my beauty blender next to me, I'm just gonna smooth out any like fingerprints that may be on my skin. Although it blends out really nicely with the fingers just alone, so. It doesn't even look like you're wearing any makeup. Like if you're someone who chooses not to wear makeup during Ramadan or just doesn't like a lot of makeup or just wants to even out the skin tone for work or something super early in the morning, this nude sticks thing is literally so like, I'm so glad they made it. Like it is such, it's a product I never knew I needed. Like it really is, look how beautiful that is. I normally just go in with the NARS, uh, what's this called? The Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I just go in with my fingers. This is the shade Amande or Amand. And I just put a little bit, just like right in the hollows of my eyes right over there. And this is literally just to cancel out any darkness. Like I don't want to highlight or anything. Just cancel out any darkness, kind of cover my birthmark just a little bit so it's not like too intense. And then I'm just using my beauty blender because it's with me, but I normally just blend it out with my fingers and I'm good to go. And then I never really set it with like a colored powder, but I have this Bare Minerals Bare Pro like what is this called? This is a performance wear powder foundation. I just kind of want to try this out. I feel like mm, I might put a little too much coverage that I don't want, but I'm just going to lightly tap this over the skin just with like this brush over here. I'm just going to tap it around my mouth to kind of set that nude sticks product. And I'm just dipping into the Fenty Beauty powder just for right underneath my eyes into bronzer I literally can't go anywhere without bronzer anymore <laughs> I'm just going into the same brush um, when I'm in a rush I use the same brush for everything that rhymed this is the Ipanema or Ipanema sun bronzer by Becca I really love this because it has like a slight shimmer to it and it just adds a beautiful warmth to the skin I like to wear a little bit of blush as well so this is unfortunately a discontinued product this is the NARS Man Ray collection at least I think it's discontinued, but it's like this gorgeous orange type of shade. I'm sure MAC has something very similar, um, but it's a matte and I just take a little bit again on the same brush and just pop that into the center of my cheeks. Then I take whatever bronzer I'm using that day. So today it's Becca and I'm just running that through my crease to add a little bit of color and also right under my eye. 
can do this very messily. For mascara, I'm using the Lancome Monster Big Mascara, and this is actually in the brown color. I like using a brown mascara when I'm going for no makeup days because it kind of just like lengthens your lashes, um, but doesn't make it look too bold. So I'm adding a good healthy coat of that. Now to add a little bit of glow, I'm gonna go into the Fenty Beauty Mean Money Hustla Baby highlight, and I'm gonna take the shade Hustla Baby. And I literally forgot about this and then used it randomly one day. And I was like, why have I never used this since literally it launched? But I really like it. I just take a little bit of it though. And then kind of go like this so that my cheekbones pop out. And then just add a little bit onto the tops of the cheekbone. And then once the glow is there, I take my trusty Sephora Perfection Mist Nude Glow Spray. And I basically put that right over top the highlight so that it melts into the skin. And then as you can see, it no longer looks like a streak of highlight. It just like, as you move the face, it just looks like you are extremely glowy and just beautiful. So this, by the way, is getting discontinued very soon. So if you haven't got your hands on it, I would recommend you get some. I literally ordered like two backups. So now I have three. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Fenty powder on my beauty blender and just like put that right over my pores around my nose over here. Because when you spray the Sephora spray, sometimes this area can get a little oily as well and I don't want that. And then the lips, you can really change however you want. Um, today I'm just gonna go for something nude. So this is uh, Dose of Colors Cork. I've been back into this because I feel so guilty using my Bite Beauty lipstick because it's a custom shade. Um, but I got it literally matched the, to this exact lip color. So if you guys ever wanted to get that custom shade from Bite Beauty that I made, this is literally the exact dupe for it. So the gloss that I like to go over top with is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Gloss in the shade Dirty Talk. And I love this gloss, it's so beautiful. And it also is a little bit minty, so I know that if it accidentally gets in my mouth, I can taste it and spit it out because I'm fasting. I'm gonna set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because that's what I always do. Oh, it's done. It's like spitting at me now. Oh God, that was a bad idea. Luckily, since I'm not wearing like heavy makeup, I can just like dab this away, no problem. Also this makeup look, like if I'm not talking and I'm just trying to bang it out because I'm in a rush, I can probably do this in about 10 minutes and have it look this good because this blur stick, this tinted blur stick makes it so quick to make your skin look super flawless and smooth. So guys, that is it for this natural no makeup makeup look. And this is kind of how I've been doing my makeup lately um, when I'm not going for full glam and when I want something more than just not wearing any makeup. So I really love it. I think I still look very put together. You really can't even tell that I'm wearing anything on my face, but everything just looks smooth and natural. Obviously you can tell the brows, the lashes and the lips, but everything else just looks so glowy and dewy and just fresh. So I will have all the products that I use linked down below in case you guys want to check them out. But um, I gotta get ready now, so you guys can continue watching the rest of this video, which will just be a vlog of my day, so I'll see you in a second. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. It is Saturday or Sunday morning, and I'm so upset because I sat down to edit the vlog portion of this video, and my memory card was compromised. It literally just, it said that the disc was like messed up or something. And I lost all the vlog footage that I took last night. And I'm so upset because I took some vlog footage of my community center and like with my cousins and stuff. And then when I came home, I made like a little sahur recipe for you guys. Like, I mean, it was a smoothie bowl recipe that I already have on my channel, but still like, it was fun. And my brother was there and I'm just so upset. That's never happened to me before, so I don't know why that happened this time. But I'm sorry, this video is so much shorter than I thought it was going to be. But because of that, I am going to do a giveaway because I just feel so bad. But I'm going to be giving away the entire Pixie collection that recently just came out in collaboration with Dulce Candy. Um, it's like with a bunch of different YouTubers. Um, Wiley Hong and then also Chloe Morello. So I will show you guys these in a second. Here it is. So this is an entire lip palette. So it has really nice 
pinky nudes and then some bright corals for the summer. And then this is like a glow palette slash you can use it as eyeshadows as well. Um, and they're all like shimmery, they're super pretty. And then this is Chloe Morello's kind of like bridal palette. So she recently just got married so she wanted a palette that could like do everything. So it has a little bit of brow in there, it has blush, it has some eyeshadows so you'll be getting that as well. And then last but not least, actually there's one more thing. This thing by uh, Wiley. This is a really pretty eyeshadow palette. I love the neutrals and then it also comes with an eyeliner, like a liquid eyeliner pen that's actually amazing. And then also you will be getting, I think it's in here, I'm not sure. It's like a lip icing. Oh, here it is. This is the last little gift as well. So this is a lip icing. Basically, it's like a shimmery lip topper and it's so pretty, it's like a gloss. So one winner will be winning all of this and yes, all my, or actually majority of my giveaways will be international this month. So, if you guys want to win all of this, then all you have to do, it's basically the same rules as last time. So, whoops, you have to be a subscriber of my channel, of course. You have to like this video. You have to follow me on Instagram and then leave any comment down below, anything about the video or just whatever, it really doesn't matter. And just leave me your Instagram handle so that I could check, um, so that I could contact you if you're a winner and then also make sure you are following me. So those are the rules. I hope you guys enjoy winning all of these. And I did pick a winner for the Glam Glow giveaway. Her name was Samiha R something. I forget, but I'm gonna be shipping that out either today or tomorrow. So I'm shipping these out really, really quickly. So check back. Um, in future videos, there will be more giveaways, and again, this giveaway will be open for 24 hours only, and the winner has 24 hours to respond to me before I pick another one. So make sure to check your Instagram DMs or your email if you um, put your email instead. But yeah, once again, super sorry about not having any vlog footage. I actually feel so bad because I know like some people watch my videos, like especially like some guys come and watch my videos and they don't like watching makeup videos and they're here for the vlogs. Um, and I had a really exciting one, but it, it was compromised. So please forgive me, it was not my fault. I might vlog today, give you guys a vlog for Monday. Um, I wanted to go to the gym with my brother, but I'm pretty sure he left me because I woke up so late today. Um, but I think I'm gonna go to the gym later on today. So if you guys wanna see my gym routine um, or a little bit of it, plus like a vlog and cooking if it's are, then definitely make sure to come back tomorrow because that will be tomorrow's video. And yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, definitely be sure to subscribe, join the fam, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, or if you want to enter the giveaway, and I will talk to you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys! <laughs>